Hi YouTube! Idle Hands back again, and we have another unboxing video today, but this time I'm not alone. I am joined by my lovely husband, who is going to be helping me film these videos, or at least this video. We'll see how this goes. Bread. Yeah. So, in my last video I mentioned that I had the Nabalis Hydra on the way, and this, assuming it hasn't been seized by customs, is the Nabalis Hydra. As you remember, my previous unboxing showed off the Nabalis marbles, which is this beautiful little guy right here. I have been flipping this thing for a little while now, and I do have a follow-up review of this coming up, and spoiler alert, I really like it. The tolerances on this thing are fantastic. It is a great little flipper. I also have my vault here, which was made in collaboration with Will Hirsch. This kind of feels like what this does, with, but with some extras. So. So far, Nabalis has not disappointed anything out of the gate. I've still got my little case here with all the stuff and the janky ass foam. Nothing is broken. I've been using this thing pretty constantly. It is really nice. But you didn't come here to watch all that stuff. You came here for this. And now, if only I had some kind of sharp object to open this up with. That bit's played out. I'm not gonna do that bit. I have, of course, my 42 clone from the one. Don't tell anyone. It's technically IP theft, but no one cares. Let's open this thing up, shall we? See what we have inside. I just need to keep it pointed away from the camera so that y'all don't get all my information. All right, the moment of truth. First, let's close this bad boy up. second Nobalis box. Same design as the one that the marbles came in. I thought that this part here was like scuffing on the box. No, that's just part of the label design. That's just like that. So, all right, let's open her up and see what is inside. <laughs> Nailed it. This is the Nobalis Hydra. I got mine in gold. There are three colors. There's gold, green, and another one that I forgot. Ooh. Now this little beauty here has a false live blade. As you can see, it is. it looks like a live blade, but it is not sharp at all. I believe the first real uh, Nabalis I'm trying to do that was the Wave, also made in collaboration with Nabalis, but that had a very differently shaped blade. This one has this beautiful clip point harpoon blade. I've always wanted one like this. And it has these gorgeous anodized gold handles with this texturing on it. It feels really, really nice to the touch. It's channel construction, completely solid. And out of the box, let's just give it some basic flips. See how it feels? This thing is very light. This thing is like lightning quick. Let's see if I can do a trick. <laughs> but actually, that was a good test to see how this thing holds up to being dropped onto tiles. Uh, in my room, I just have carpet, but I'm not seeing any scuffing at all. I believe this is alum aluminium or aluminum, depends on where you come from. All right, I'm gonna try and do a behind the eight ball. Oh man, I'm not used to the weight of this thing at all. Nope. I gotta be real careful, this is a glass table under here. I'm not gonna do that anymore. But uh, I really need to get used to the weight of this thing. This thing is super ultra, ultra light, but it's not bad at all very smoothly, very clean. Let's do the tap test. Even with now two drops, no taps, that's my ring you're hearing. Let's try the tolerances, see. Teensiest, tiniest bit of handle play there, but uh, pretty much like, I really have to kind of push it to do that. So pretty much no play to speak of right out the box. Now, the marbles came with Loctited screws. I've been flipping and dropping this thing a lot, and 
it has not come loose at all. So I am assuming that this also comes with factory Loctite. It's got the Zen pins design, the same kind of smoothed out pivot uh, nubbin thing, tying nubbin. I forget the name of it. I'll put it on screen, maybe, if I remember. And of course, the blade. The blade, I believe, is 440C. If that's not correct, I will correct it on the screen. It is... it's actually not actually pointy. I thought this thing would be pointy, but it's not, which is good. The idea behind this is that you have a trainer blade that can't cut you, but it looks like the real part, and it feels real in terms of balance, and if you ever wanted to, you could sharpen it up and turn it into a live blade, which is a really cool design, and I'm really hoping that more designers do that over time. Let's take a look at what we get in the box, because I know y'all want to see that. We got our extra hardware. Comes with some, looks like bronze phosphorus washers. We got a little bit driver here. We got this terrible L-shaped thing that you're apparently never supposed to use. Extra bushings, extra pivot stuff, all of the usual things you would hope to get with some extra hardware. Very good. We have another bottle of, I'm pretty sure this is Super Lube. If it's not, I don't know what it is, but it is good to have another one that is, again, not smashed. If you remember in my last video when I got the Vulp, it came in this box right here with no foam inlay and a lot of broken glass and oil in it. I'm not going to post the pictures of that again. Go watch the other video. So put that to the side. We, of course, also have another little vial of Loctite Blue. Nabalis is really good with their extra hardware. Oh, yeah, there's a little dropper as well. No screwdriver in this one. My last one came with uh, two little orange screwdrivers. Maybe they saw my last video and were like, we're not sending you another one. You got a freebie last time. But these boxes here are a really nice addition because now that I have three ballast songs from the ballast, I can just pop them all into these slots like so. Voila, this is my carrying case. How pretty. I look professional now. And I have an extra one that I can keep all my crap in and my other knife which, according to who you ask, might also be classed as crap. <laughs> People don't like this knife a lot, but I like it. I really like these knives. As with the marbles, which I have another review of coming later, I will flip this little bad boy for a while, see how I get used to it, and I will come back with a, uh, a follow-up review, just show it how it's been holding up, if the screws are coming loose, if the handles are scuffed at all, how it compares to these two. Uh, I'll do a little mini follow-up on the marbles right now. This thing is, in my opinion, perhaps one of the best trainers on the market right now. It is incredibly cheap, has the modular marble system. Oh. One thing I should mention, I actually contacted Nabalis about this. If you remember from my last video, I tried to get seven metal marbles into each of these channels. And while I was able to do it on one side, I couldn't do it on the other side. I contacted them about that to see if that was like an oversight, if I needed different spacers. They said that no, the way I've got it set up with these little, uh, I think these are actually silicon rubber balls. You're supposed to have those at the ends, and then you fill in six different weights of your choice on each side. So I, I figured it out in my video, live for you all. So that is an intentional thing. It's a feature, not a bug. All right, flip this little bad boy for a little while. A bit of a shorter video this time around because I don't have to fuck around with some marbles and stuff. And I have a very competent camera crew with me this time, so I'm not constantly stopping and fucking around with my setup. Uh, it has been a pleasure as always. I will get back to you all in the next video.
Not safe for you to monitor. Not safe for you for your t- So, um, you remember how I said that this is a blunt trainer <laughs> that's not meant to cut you? JK. Some, JK, somehow, yeah, it's bleeding, it's a tiny little cut, but it's bleeding quite a lot. I have no idea how that happened. I didn't feel it happen. I, I, there was no edge on that thing. You saw me running my finger back and forth on it. There's no point on it. I legitimately don't know how this happened. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this is a fluke and that the Nivalis Hydra isn't meant to slice up your fingers if you mess up a trick like I did. But then again, I didn't even think I messed up any tricks there. I just thought it was flipping bad. Uh, so, just keeping this in the video, just showing you that, yeah, um, I got cut with a blunt trainer. I'm pretty sure that's a, some kind of achievement there. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna get this scene too, and see about editing that video up later. <laughs>